We had an annual children's holiday party at Tropical Paradise what Ballroom. What's the mission of an event like this? So that every child in the community could have a gift for Christmas. The Black and Latino Filmmakers Coalition hosts a chic launch party for a Brooklyn Savvy Amazon Prime release. Brooklyn Savvy is a show that aims to inform, inspire, and activate. Black and Chow with Pico de Gallo on this week's In the Kitchen with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson. I think I did this in probably about four minutes, five minutes tops. We go behind the scenes for Webley's Pride and Joy video shoot with director Jimmy Blanco. Yeah, yeah, I got shot. A real thing, man, because I'm here all day with the, and set of the, on the video shoot behind the scene I watch the vibe, man. Trust me, some real nice footage and thing. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Holiday season is here. We were on location at the Wayatka's annual children's holiday party. Western American Day Carnival Association Children's Christmas Party. What's the mission of an event like this? So that every child in the community could have a gift for Christmas. This year, um, we look for sponsorship. We do rebranding for the organization. We also reach out to sponsors. We talk to persons within the community. We get people invited and excited about our carnival. So this year, we also focus in on 2019. I know it's Christmas, but we're working hard for 2019. If you like to volunteer, reach out to our office. We are taking applications for volunteers for 2019 as well. Yes, this is VDJ Chris Ford for Superstar Karaoke here with the West Indian American Christmas party right here in Brooklyn. Thank you everybody that came out. We had a great time. See you next time. We're here in Brooklyn and it's all about the children today. You know every year Ms. Karkam have a Christmas party for the kids. Well, here we are with uh, West Indian Day Carnival Christmas party. My good friend Diane from New Horizon along with so many wonderful people here. We are celebrating the children. Chairs. I am Assemblywoman Latrice Walker. It's lots of fun, great food, great music, a good time, and I look forward to everyone having a prosperous new year as well. God bless you. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. People uh, don't believe that we are worthy of all of the wonderful things in life. But look, today we prove everyone wrong. God bless you, God keep you, and I'm here with Mama. Where's Mama? Come over here and say hello, Mama. Merry Christmas to all of the parents here and to the young children that are all here. I hope that you let them recognize that the community embrace each and every child that is a part of our community. I'm Congresswoman Yvette Clark of the 9th District of New York. And I am Una Clark, I'm her mother and I am a Jamaican living in New York and want to express my deep and great gratitude to Jamaica but to wish every Jamaican from the country to Kingston Merry Christmas 
and may this be a wonderful year ahead for all Jamaicans everywhere in the diaspora and at home. First of all, I want to thank the West Indian American Day Carnival Association for holding this annual Toys for Tot event. As you can see by all of the families that have come out from the community, this is a magical time of year. Our community are working class, hardworking families, and just trying to make ends meet. Sometimes it's difficult to be able to make the rent and buy all of the Christmas toys you would want to give to your children. Sometimes it's just difficult uh, being able to put groceries on the table and provide a wonderful holiday treat for your family. West Indian American Day Carnival Association recognizes that within our community and so they're to be commended for this extraordinary gift of giving. My name is Steven and I'm to give me a present. My name is Nathan and I just got a present from Santa. Hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas. This is Santa from Golden Boys to Angela and the crew and the president of Wadika. Always a blessing. We are the past the battle on. May God bless everyone. Amen. Tony Williams and her panelists takes issues the community needs to hear. At a bit of savvy and produce a talk show the community in Brooklyn and the world deserved. Hi, I'm Tony Williams and this is Brooklyn Savvy. Greetings, you're watching Come Chat With Me, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. And today, I'm sitting next to Miss Tony Williams, who is the host, creator, and producer for Brooklyn Savage. Oh, you got it all right. That's exactly yes, who I, I am. I got it all right. I got it all right. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us. How are you? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm very good. You know, we're getting ready to do our launch. We're going to be on Amazon Prime shortly. So this is our way of celebrating the achievements that we've made. I've been producing this show for 14 seasons, so this is what's so exciting about it. The event today yes. that we're here, what exactly is it all about today? Well, it's about our launch on Amazon Prime, but it's also just to celebrate the panelistas. Oftentimes what happens is people will stop me and they know me, but they don't know who the ladies are that are on the show. And I'll get questions like, who's this one, who's that one? So I figured this is an opportunity to just roll out everybody because it is yes. an ensemble that makes Brooklyn Savvy happen. Yeah. yeah, tapered, tapered, but then full, full tends to make it look kind of big. Too, yeah, right. even yeah. on a skinny right. person, full, full just doesn't work. Yeah. Any, yeah. any body type, full, full doesn't exactly. work. You could do my favorite, palazzo pants. Uh, How many years now since Brooklyn Savvy? Well, you know, I would say about eight, the I call it seasons. Yes. And you know, it's the kind of thing that I've had to produce as I have a full-time job. But you know, I've been able to produce say 13 episodes a season. So we're on twice a year. So it's like 26 episodes. So people get a chance to see a lot of Brooklyn Savvy. We deal with topics from social justice to financial management, to blood pressure and cancer, diabetes, relationships, interracial relationships. We, we just deal with the gamut of issues. If you look at hypertension in the United States, mm -hmm. who's most affected by hypertension? African Americans. African -Americans. Right. If you go to Ghana, for example, if someone has hypertension or diabetes, you know they're middle class. Really? Because they've right. adopted our way of life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they don't but they don't have hypertension and diabetes normally. Mm -hmm. So it's not our genes that's doing this. It's a lot of other things. And the stress of living when you're poor mm -hmm. and the landlord's knocking on the door, and your kids are out and you're worried if they're gonna make it home, walking while black. Mm -hmm. And all of the impact of what it means to be discriminated against. Marketing yourself, there's a lot of information that we give that's on leadership. You know, how to, nice. how to put your A game forward. You know, oftentimes people 
you know, we're the women that I that I focus on are successful, and I hate to say it, but ordinary women, yes. but successful, successful ordinary women, and that's what resonates with people. The fact that I can do what you're doing because I'm just like you, sure. and so that's what I want to make happen. Mm-hmm. How do you feel a need or see the need for creating a, a show as Brooklyn Savvy? Um, you know, because I don't think that we have a show that talks to us, people of color, and 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 most most specifically African Americans that that helps us with information. I find myself in a lot of settings where I may be the only person that looks like me and there's a lot of great information that's going on or that's being shared. So I want to be in a position for all of us to have information because we we can elevate ourselves through knowledge and information. And if we don't have access to that, then we're walking around, we're not on a level playing field. We're already not on a level playing field, but we're truly not on a level playing field when we don't have the information that we need. I just want the audience to know that Brooklyn Savvy is a show that aims to inform, inspire, and activate. So that means that once we've inspired you, you have to do something. Do something. (laughs) Thank you. I've been on the show for uh, since uh, 2013, and it's been just so amazing and exciting. A lot of different issues, political, social justice, Sometimes a little fun. Yeah, man, come chat with me in at the house. I'm standing here next to Baba Tunde. What's up, what's up, what's up? Brother, what's up, man? Nice to see you, man. Thanks for doing this interview with me. I like yeah, talking man. about myself. <laughs> I really think, man, definitely, man. Tell us the part that you play in this wonderful event. Uh, I run two organizations. The first one is Black and Latino Filmmakers Coalition, which is a trade association for writers, directors, and producers. The second is my personal production company, which we started doing distribution. And uh, I was able to get Brooklyn Savvy a distribution deal on uh, Amazon. That's big, man. Yeah, we big. You know, the whole thing about the organization is is that we pull the resources that the individual members get to the, um, participate in. And Tony was brought to us by our, our talent agency, Plaza 7, and she also won the Black and Latino Film Award for Best Non-Scripted Episodic Series. And after she won that, I was like, well, let's, we sat down, we had a meeting, there was synergy, um, I ran it by Amazon, they said, it looks good, let's put it up. Amazon's the first stop, we're looking at BET, we're looking at TV One, we're looking at all these different outlets because the stories need to be seen. And she has a huge following, a huge audience, it's a win-win for all of us. And you know, you can't launch a show without a launch party so sure. you know so big up to Billy Holiday Theater and Restoration yeah. for letting us come here and blast out with yeah. the drinks and the food and all that wonderfulness really? but it's really about telling our stories this episode of Inner the Kitchen is brought to you by Walker's Wood Caribbean Foods all right guys welcome to another episode on which part you day in at the kitchen don't get it twisted and you're done already every week i'm gonna have something wonderful and something nice something different something that you're really not used to seeing make but i'm gonna put it together i'm gonna be doing a blackened trout and i'm gonna serve it with some pick of the guy or you know about that and some salted veg don't get it twisted follow me let's go cook in at the kitchen In the kitchen. All right, guys. So, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a black trout, and you can go with any fish that you want to use. You can go with a red snapper fillet. You can go with white end fillet, any fillet fish that you like. But I'm gonna use a trout. This is a very, very easy fish to cook. So, if you come home and you're making something and you want to make it fast and you want to make it easy because you got a lot to do, you gotta deal with the kids and so forth. This is a nice fish that you can use. So a little bit of salt, not too much because you gotta watch your salt intake. Nice. I'm gonna go with a little bit of Obey seasoning. Once again, looking real good. I'm gonna go with a little bit of blackened season. All right. And this fish, you can leave this fish to marinate probably inside your refrigerator, put it in your refrigerator, and let it marinate for probably about, um, I'll say about 20 minutes should be good because this fish absorbs flavor real easy. All right, guys, looking real good. Looking real good. My clarifoil oil, where I have inside of it some garlic, some herbs, and just like that, you put a plastic over him and you put him inside your refrigerator.
You want to have the oil a little bit hot, real hot, so when you put the fish in, the fish is not gonna stick. It's not gonna stick. So you lift your fish up, put the fish in. And when you put the fish in, you can always, as you know already, I always say, shake the pot a little bit. You shake it a little bit, and this prevent the fish from actually sticking. You wanna turn it over, and turn it over before it actually fully cooks. This way it don't break. See, beautiful, looking real good. So I'm gonna let that cook for probably another minute, and that is basically done. I'm just gonna switch pot around, and I'm gonna start on my veg right here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go with some butternut squash, which I already pre-diced and cooked and roast off. And I'm gonna serve this with some saute spinach that I'm gonna put in the butternut squash. I'm gonna saute this together. My fish is almost done. Looking real good. I'm gonna go with a little bit of scallion, a little bit of salt and pepper. Nice. I have already some little bit of um, chicken stock that I have already made. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit over it. Sometimes you want something different. Like I say, it's not all the time you want the rice and peas and it's not all the time you want the yam dumpling and banana. Sometimes you have to think out of the box. You think out of the box and you gotta cook something different sometime and that's what I'm all about. Look at that guys, nice. You can see the season and the flavor just sits right on top of the fish. Beautiful, looking real good. And like I said with this, I'm just gonna serve this with some nice salsa that I have already pre-made. I have some nice salsa pre-made and that's what I'm gonna put right on the top of it. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna blend right in perfectly. See? Beautiful, that's what I'm shooting for. Looking real good. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil, a little bit of the oil from actually the pot that is left over I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil and that's what I'm gonna to use to actually help make my flavor. Look at that, just have it drizzle right over. And that's what cooking is all about. Cooking is all about being creative. And that's what I try to tell people all the time. It's not as difficult as people make it seems. You just have to always think out of the box. All right, guys, you see how pretty that looks? And we did it together. Real simple, I think I did this in probably about four minutes, five minutes tops. Easily put together, so you can have dinner ready. If you have the right ingredients, everything is quick, everything is ready, you have a wonderful dish looking just like this and presented just like this. Simple black trout with some acorn squash and some spinach. You're gonna enjoy this. This go well with a glass of wine. And you know already, or grab yourself a red stripe beer or a lemonade. And I'll catch you next week, which part? In at the kitchen. Don't get it twisted. We were behind the scenes for Webley's latest music video, Pride and Joy, directed by Jimmy Blanco. Oh, my pride and joy, my perfect girl, it's just the way you are, hey. We are today on set of Webley's new music video. It's called Pride and Joy. The theme we came up with today was just a, a good, cool lover's rock, you know, classic tale of two lovers just enjoying life and, you know, living their best life, as we like to call it. So today's backdrop, we had a nice, nice landscape up by the cloisters. We had a couple of shots by the castle, and then we finish out the night right here at the Brooklyn Museum with the glamorous backdrop, the tall glass windows. It's gonna be a dope visual. You're my pride and joy, my perfect girl. It's just the way you are, hey. You're my pride and joy, my perfect girl. It's just
Yeah, man, you don't know. You're watching Come Chat with me. And today, we're on the, the scene of Webley. Big music video, the thing mad from man who has shot down the thing. You see what I mean? So we're going to talk to this thing right now. What's going on, my singer? How things are going? What's going on? Yeah, man, bless it. Everything great. Everything good. I'm man, thing, man. You hear me? That video right Ryan. What's the name of it? Pride and Joy. For real, man. And how you come up with the concept? That name, the kind of name that's not normal, you know? How you, come, how you get that name there? For this song? Well, Pride and Joy is really because I'm a loving person, I'm a lover's rock singer. You know, so it's coming from really outside, beyond what I live and see every day. It's the ace director Jimmy Blanco, of course. I do enough things, I go out with much things. So, you know, so the video I got shot. A real thing, man, because I'm here all day with the, and set up the, and the video shoot. Me and the scene, I watch the vibe, man. Trust me. Some real nice footage and thing. It's like a shot, definitely. So I'm gonna keep the lookout. My pride and joy, my perfect girl. It's just the way you are. Hey. This single is from an album? Um, no, this is not an album. This is um, currently a single of my upcoming EP, of course. Okay. Working on some new stuff. Rebrand myself, coming fresh. Even the spelling, it's W E B. L3Y, that's Webley. So you can um, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. It's W-E-B-L-3-Y. Easy. You know it's your boy Webley. Along with come chat with me TV behind the scenes from a video show, Pride and Joy. Check it. It's the way that you touch me. I could never explain, baby. Girl, you knock me off my feet. You're my pride and joy. My perfect girl. It's just the way you are. Hey. I just wanna say big up to come chat with me TV, of course. Watch the video, stream the video. Um, buy the song, it's available now on iTunes. You can stream it on Spotify. And you can find me everywhere. Again, it's W E B L 3 Y. That's Webley. Just watch out for me. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. It's the way we met And the way you make me feel Darling, when I look into your eyes, it's the way that you touch me, I could never explain, baby, girl you knock me off my feet.